40 percent from the field and uh, get a win like that. What do you think you guys are actually uh, uh, our spirit. I think our spirit won the game. Uh, we, we fought, we battled, we clawed. We didn't <laughs> complain, we just played. Um, how many times you can shoot 38% and have 27 assists? That means the ball was um, moving around and shot distribution was great. 13, 14, 12, 19, and uh, um, Thomas had four. Uh, Thomas played well. Thomas really battled. He, he was trying to stay in front of the fastest, uh, one of the fastest guards in the league. And you know, with help from his teammates, we did a good job on, on Westbrook. He's, he's a handful. We, we wanted to keep him under 46, and we did. We made some adjustments, and I thought our guys really did a good job of buying into it and executing it and not giving into it. And you know, at times when you play against guys like uh, Westbrook, that he challenges your schemes, and you have to stay with it and trust the, the percentages. And I thought our guys did a great job tonight. What was the key, what was the key um, with Westbrook in particular? Was it just turning him into a facilitator or just forcing him to touch the Well, he, he's, a, he's, I mean, he's a playmaker. We wanted to make sure that he's, he saw the crowd. He can attack left, he can attack right, and, you know, and. Just a great player. Like I said, he's going to go down as one of the best point guards ever played a game. But I thought our bodies, uh, he, he was able to see not a lot of gaps, not a lot of openings. And he's one of the few guys that can, you know, John's right there with him. They can, they can get into gaps that there's no way they can get into, but they find a way. And our guys did a great job of uh, walling him up and making him take some tough shots. Speaking of defense, what worked in the second half against Paul George after he went on for 20 the first half? Yeah, you know, he made some tough shots. He made some shots in the first half, made some threes, and we, we have to close out on him. And I thought we did a better job. But our strategy was making sure that uh, we, we take care of the, the paint. I thought, you know, I thought we did a, a much better job. I, thought, I don't know how, if I can remember. They had like 60 in the first game. Tonight there was 34. So that's a big difference. And then the turnovers. Look, we had 12 turnovers for 11 points. Last game we had 23 for 36. That was the game. Uh, last game we had, um, they got 22 points in off offensive rebounds. Uh, tonight, 13. So those are those are indicators that we wanted to make sure that we won, and I thought we did tonight. Scott, as part of handling Westbrook, does it go beyond schematics so you have to weather his spirit that he's going to try to bully you and try to be ferocious with you? And how do you think Saturans did with that? Yeah, you know, I, I've seen it for seven years and he has sometimes he has I mean he has the fight of an entire team and we knew that going into that we just have to do our best every possession we almost have to reboot our computer every time down court and not get frustrated if he does get biased and he does split the scene and he does dunk on us or he does get a transition point you just got to stay with the next play and I thought tonight as well as any part of the season, we did that on both ends. The ball was moving when the shot wasn't going in, and that's that's good. That's a good basketball game for us. When the ball's not going in, and we still have 27 assists because we're making an extra pass and we're looking for great shots instead of good shots. What caused Otto to have to go back to the locker room and what do you think about his performance despite that? I don't know. He, he fell down. I don't know if he got bumped in the shoulder or bumped in the, 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 the face. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't even ask. I just said, hey, let me know when he comes back in. And, you know, Otto's a player, and he loves to play. And he's been a big part of our last two wins. And, you know, it's, I thought he made timely shots, uh, timely stops. And I thought he was terrific. You know, a lot of rebounds, too. Six, I mean, we needed all of our guys to rebound. Adams, he's a, he's a monster down there, offensive rebounds. He, every missed free throw, he has a chance to make, to get. And, did a good job. Seems like Marquise Morris has kind of turned the corner a little bit in the past three games or so. What do you think has been the difference in his performance? <coughs> um, playing with more, more juice, more force, playing quicker. Uh, he has a lot of abilities to put the ball on the floor, and he's getting more opportunities. Uh, he's, he's definitely instead of catching and and holding the ball, he's catching and, and attacking. And when he does that, with his outside shot, his three-point shooting has improved over the last two years. 
He's a heck of a player, and we need that from him. We need that from him, especially now that John's going to be out for some time. We need guys to step up, not not necessarily step up in, in scoring, but just how we play. You know, John's such an amazing transition scorer and, and facilitator in on the break that he gets a lot of guys on a lot of wide open threes. So we have to compensate for that, and the way we've done that the last couple of games is our catch and go attacks were right on point both games. Coach, you started bottom seven from three and then only finished two of 18. What do you think was the difference there? We did. Yeah. Or they did. You did finish yeah. two of 18. We, I mean, it kind of reminded me of a few games back where we couldn't make a shot. But we but we got to the free throw line. We didn't just settle for jump shots. We, we attacked and we wanted to do that. Uh, you know, when the shot's not falling, you still got to do two things. You still got to execute. You still got to make the extra pass, and you still have to either attack, attack, or or, or shoot the shot. And take it with confidence. That was actually three things, right? So, uh, 41 minutes for Brad tonight. How important is it to, to kind of manage that um, down the stretch with, without war? I think I think that, you know what it's like I've said for many years. I mean, the, the I value guys' minutes. I want guys to play in the games extremely hard. But if you if we're only judging minutes on guys' workload, I think we're missing the boat. There's shoot arounds. There's pre pre game work. Um, some guys shoot after a game. Uh, there's before practice. There's practice. Those are all things that I can control. The player's job is to control how hard they play on the court. That's that's what they do. Uh, so the minutes, they're to me, they're a little overrated uh, because if you play 40 minutes and tomorrow he practices for 15 minutes. <coughs> Is he going to be all right for Thursday? I think so. It's basketball. We work out two hours every summer, every day, and sometimes guys go two a days in the summer. So I think we sometimes we over analyze game minutes, but we 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 got we uh, monitor all the guys' minutes every time they step on a basketball court. So had Beal, Ubre, Porter, Scott, and Morris together at one point. Um, what did you think that group? And do you think that's something? Boy, because if we are playing, or something we may see sometimes without John. Well, there's a couple of factors that went into it. I knew I needed Thomas back in the game, but he—I don't know if he would have had enough energy to play 35 minutes, um, let alone a 30. Because it's uh, it's a different it's a different minute when you're in front of number zero. And then he didn't have he didn't have um, he wasn't in foul trouble, so I knew I had I had some. Opportunities to play him. He had one. I think he had one foul. So if he did get a, a quick, couple of quick fouls on Westbrook, then I was going to be all right with that. And that, that unit hasn't really scored well. Um, we've done it probably six or seven times throughout the season. I have to do a better job of finding ways that we can score with that unit with Brandon at the point. Three technical fouls tonight on OKC. What do you think will uh, you guys to get under their skin? I just told the guys play hard. Don't worry about. Don't worry about. Anything else other than your job, and your job is to go out there and play hard and play for your teammates. Don't don't be distracted on nothing else. Focus on every possession of playing hard and playing for your your um, your brother right next to you. And I thought we did that. We didn't we didn't care. I mean, we 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 love to get some of these calls, but you know, we did. So you can't worry about it. You just got to keep playing through it. But both teams. I mean, it was a physical game. It was both teams. You knew you, you want. You want both teams to care about winning, and I thought tonight it was definitely the case. It could have gone either way. Thank goodness we made some shots and we made some free throws down the stretch. All right, you guys have a good night.